What's happening, my beautiful people? My name is Mike LaBelle. Welcome back to the YouTubes. Today, special day, we have a tutorial. Talking about one of my favorite skill moves, one of the best skill moves, at least in my opinion, hands down, and it's not brought up enough. We don't discuss it as much as we should via live streams, via the YouTube, via the comments. And if you agree, or if this isn't in your arsenal, drop a thumbs up on this video. That will share it around the community, let people know they need to know what's happening. And I've been working on something special, we've been cooking. Chef Dirty Mike, that's correct. James Harden edition without the beard. The best skill moves in FIFA 21. Gonna go over all the overpowered skills in one video, but I need your help. I want you to comment below, what do you feel are the most overpowered or the best skill moves to have in your locker, to have in your arsenal in FIFA 21. And I also want to add a quick side note. Many of you ask about, well, how did you get so good with different combinations and instinctively being able to make this turn and to twist and to maneuver. And at the end of the day, most of us have been playing FIFA for many years. You're not necessarily going to learn every skill move in one FIFA installment and then be able to execute them at the highest levels. It takes time and even more so when you're looking at getting more complicated. The point I'm making, please do not get discouraged. There is always a learning curve, and this will be no different. But comment below, best skill moves in this year's installment. I want to see if we agree, if we align, if we disagree. We can go back and forth. I like a discussion group. Welcome to the YouTube channel if you have not hit the label. Executing the heel to heel, relatively simple. And this is not the lateral heel to heel. You're going forward and then you're going backwards. You're going up and then you're going down. Right analog stick. Write it down, practice makes perfect. Get into a skill games, get into the arena. It's all based on perspective. But this is rather intuitive. That's why I say this skill move is not complicated to execute. Once you figured it out, gotten a little more comfortable with your stick work, regardless of the way that your player is turned, it will make sense. The heel to heel connects logically. It's very practical from what it looks like on the virtual pitch and what your hands are doing. CID, no, I'm not checking your ID at the bar, at the club, at the restaurant, or wherever else you would need to check an ID. The movie theater, really throwing back the years. If you're buying alcohol, you're buying cigarettes, I'm not recommending any of those things. But as you can see on screen, we've got the breakdown, the analysis, and we're creating indecisive decisions. That's the CID that I'm talking about. It will all make sense in just a moment, pay attention. And we give you real breakdowns, real gameplay, at the highest of levels. I want you to make sure you're utilizing something that makes sense and that's gonna help you get better at the game. This is a beautiful turn from Rashford. The one, the only Rashford. We've got his center back, my opposition center back. I just wanna make sure that he doesn't know for sure if he should backtrack or if he should be looking for a pass back. And this is where the heel to heel attacks space but also creates this moment and is explosive enough even if your opponent was AI defending, if you catch him in between switches, you're gone like Donkey Kong. Burst by Rashford, extra ball roll, lays it off, Salah back of the net, left foot across the body. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. We're not done. Let the camera roll. Alan, we're trying to penetrate here. We need to find a splitting pass, but once you make that splitting pass, Frankie, Lampard, Ben Yedder, here we go. Rashford, we've got a matchup, a manual matchup. Now I've got to create some sense of indecisiveness, maybe a little doubt. And that's where the heel to heel gives you enough spacing, timing, where you can also react. If I needed a secondary skill, I can watch what he's gonna do with this defensive player. And if he moves the wrong way, then I have created everything I needed. A little bit of a gap, somewhere that I can attack, a weak point. There's some sort of glorious turnaround when you pull this off properly, you feel relief, it's relaxing. Rashford, heel to heel, there we are. Second freeze frame, the defender gets a little closer to me, but what I noticed, I felt as if he wasn't gonna go diving in for the challenge. So we're gonna attack him with pace. We're just gonna take a big touch right after that. We're gonna sprint through. If you combine this with the bridge dribble, it would have been even better. Perfecto, I'm gonna make a video talking more about that bridge dribble because it's important. We burn him, we smoke him, we had a fake shot. Maybe we should have had one more pass after that, but. Regarding the fake shot, we go for goal. Rashford bangs it. Anytime you watch any of my tutorials, you can see a lot of Rashford. There's no way around it. He's just that good. That damn good. By Rashford. You want better results? Rashford's your guy. We're not done, my friends. We have more. Rashford with the turn. Defends pretty well. We recycle. Now I got him on my hip. You see him on the hip. And what's important here is my opponent doesn't know if I'm making a pass to an oncoming attacking player. Maybe to the inside. And that's where we are constantly creating, not havoc, not even controlled havoc, but just that slight half second of not sure what's next. 
And when you're indecisive and I have clarity, we're going to score more goals. Heel to heel, attacks the space. Rashford only needs that small gap. And then we're on the board in there like swimwear. We extend our lead. In this case, we start the comeback. But you get the idea. You're going to like these examples even more than the originals. Because now we're talking about defeating or counteracting chase back players, especially with the center mid. Just, just wait for this, this material here. This is when your opposition is always chasing back with a center mid. They're not going to swap to the defenders. How do you create a degree of separation? How do you create a little more space? Give yourself a gap to work with. The heel to heel is your best friend. I don't even think I'm going to freeze frame this. We're going to let it run through. The Yong's looking for the splitting pass. Finds it. There's the freeze frame. I lied. So you can see my opponent is choosing to not switch players. He wants to just chase back with that center mid because it's safer. He doesn't want to take a risk, and we got to punish him for that. If you're not going to grab one of these center backs, we're either going to force you to do it, or I'm going to score a goal. I'm going to attack them. And that's where the heel to heel is going to give you this lovely advantage. You're going to love it. I'm going to love watching it. There it is. Rashford. Boom. Into the... La Croqueta steps through. It's so smooth. It's silky. We've done that tutorial. Side note. We are not done. Another example of being able to shake the chase back or even a player that's right there on your hip. Uh, I love this example. We've got Ben Yedder. I'm looking for the pass across. There it is. Uh, we've got that 1v1 matchup. I already know that this is my goal scorer, or the guy that I'm looking to, to score that goal. And I also know that my opponent is trying to sit there and kind of AI defend or try to cover a gap. I'm trying to either force some sort of error. And it's another good example of being able to not only chase maybe a run back player, but being able to beat a 1v1 matchup and take advantage and burst away. You want to be able to punish players that are just sitting still or that don't know when to lunge and when to sit back. I know I talk a lot about indecisive, but if you are looking to be successful or consistent with skill move execution, it comes down to the fundamentals and also being deceptive, the timing, being creative, being unpredictable. Vignetter, one more skill for the boys, lays it off De Jong, even with low finishing, buries it. And last of the examples, and something that you may not want to hear, but it is part of FIFA 21, and I'm sure this will build into other FIFA installments. Timing is crucial, and you've got to make sure that you're aligned with your timing if you want to tell a success story. And the heel to heel is a great way to resurface or to create a little bit of space or to take space while you're waiting for your oncoming attackers to fill lanes properly. That's what we're going to showcase. We've got Alon. We're building up 90th minute. This is the game winner. You saw Air Ashford with the heel to heel. I didn't have a secondary option yet. I only did that skill in order to allow more attacking players to get into their correct locations. Closes the best, wins the majority of the games. That's a fact. Second half decides matches. Last 20 minutes decides matches. Here you go with Rashford. We're going to have a couple more skills, but you're going to see this recycle. Salah bangs it home near post, and we all celebrate 5-4 foot champions. I want to be on this end for this end, and I don't want to be talking about how the 90th minute was against me and I was unlucky and I misplayed something. We don't have to do that. Perfect example of boring but good, simple but with a purpose. Ben Yedder turns. We're going to do a heel to heel right here, right now. And the reason that I say that this is a, a simple method but it's important, my other attacking players are not into their optimum position on the pitch. And timing and dictating that that pace is so important. So we're going to use a heel to heel with Ben Yedder. I know that I won't be tackled by either of these defenders. Both of these players are also not in ideal position to make a tackle or to hit me with a chase back so i'm only doing the heel to heel to buy additional time for oncoming attacking players there it is we got the overlapping run rashford with a beautiful touch versus laurent blanc smashes it across the body smashes it but that's not open if i let that pass go too early one is good two is better threes please we have rashford with a turn and then we have a ton of space when you have space you have to take advantage of that open area you want to be a farmer get yourself into the greens my mama always said eat greens with every meal i'm co-signing that today as well we're gonna spread the message so rashford is gonna use the heel to heel because it attacks space yet you still have control and then we can reassess what's open there it is. I didn't get anyone to, to bait too heavily. I maybe forced my opposition to step out of comfort zone slightly, but it was more about going into that space. 
We're gonna farm together. I know some of you played Farmland. It was a Facebook game. It was big during college for yours truly. Someone played it that's watching. Rashford, there's the resurface. Beautiful body faint. I'll make that video. Ben Yedder's turning, turning, turning. And now you see everything come together. Rashford has that beautiful lane. We're gonna drop off a through ball and we're gonna bang this first time and we're gonna go home and talk about it. There it is! Ah, and the crowd goes wild. Use the heal to heal. These are great examples. Rerun these scenarios. Trust me, it will work for you. I use this skill every single game. And if you wanna get better quicker, and I stress this early on, join the FIFA school. We got a bunch of different options, exclusive information, tips, tricks, lessons, squad comparisons, personalize this, personalize that, all encompassing. If you enjoyed the content, please drop some love. I know a lot of people need this skill, so let's bring them this skill. Just drop a like on the video, it's free. It costs you nothing, maybe one second of your time. And even more so, if you made it to this point of the video, that means that you were locked in. You've been dedicated. You hit the label. We appreciate you. Stay beautiful and I have a lot more content coming out ASAP, ASAP.